Hey guys, unpacking video today again. So I got the blades, a set of blades from AliExpress, the nylon ones, 155 is the cost that they marked for the customs and that's basically even not correct value because I realistically paid for them 139. Well, it doesn't matter, still it got uh, to me without any, any duties, so duty free. Anyways, this is how it was actually packed. I actually took it out of the parcel already. So these are the blades and this should be the hub cone and like other stuff. So let's undo and check and see what's inside. Okay, so unpacked all this and I see a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage here and there. I mean, it's not okay. It's definitely not okay. So I will have to repaint it probably. And well, there is also a damage over here on the cone. So here is this piece. Uh, I mean, like literally it went out of there. So well, <clears throat> the packing should have been a little bit better. But everything seems to be in peace. Uh, all, all the items are there, all okay, but just like the damage. Damage here and damage over there. Paintwork, paintwork is not good enough. Sorry. But in general, well, what can I say? In general, it's overly very good. Because, well, take a look. This is the blade itself. It's kind of twisted a little bit. I don't know how to focus it for you. It is heavily twisted, but they are synchronized. They are they are absolutely identical. Um, I will have to try on the wind how they actually how will they actually work, how will they behave. And these blades are quite thin, but still, uh, since they are fiberglass, they they are quite heavy. I will try to measure each of them. But so far I see that the, the way is uh, way more than I expected it to be. And the hub itself, the hub itself is so much different from what you see de definitely, indefinitely for the M5, M6, M8, M10 wind turbines. It's very much different. It doesn't have any, 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 any cone there. Uh, I mean, any uh, connection joint for the shaft but uh, on this side you just probably will have to use this bolt to connect you use this um oh come on not the bolt the nut the nut to connect it to the existing uh to the existing shaft on your wind turbine but i don't know i will have to check i will have to think how do i combine it with my wind with my uh wind turbine don't know yet we'll see we'll see how it looks like but so far it's i mean I'm, so far i look quite happy because well this is better than i expected despite these minor damages like anyways uh what else uh i have nothing else to add i just like will have to assemble it and we'll show it to you how it's assembled and what exactly are the measurements what will be the diameter in the end because that is something that we are interested in right so yeah let's do this Okay, guys, so here it is assembled fully together. And well, who is really uh, noticing things may notice that this thing has got a very interesting piece. It's actually flipped to be rotating vice versa. I mean, I cannot assign the blades to be uh, to make it rotating uh, clockwise. It will go counterclockwise. That's the only way you can mount these blades uh, according to their shape and how do they look like realistically. That's it. Uh, it is quite thick, so let me give you my hand to compare it to it, so you will see. Even to the end of the uh, to the, to to the, to the tip of the blade, like it's still for finger thick. It's quite quite a lot. Uh, in centimeters, if you want, let me do the, this for the end of a tip. Um, so probably better to do it here. So it's like you see the value, seven centimeters almost. And well, the main thing is to measure the diameter. So let's do this. Hold on a sec. It's hard to do this with one hand. Specifically, it does not allow you to do a lot of action. Okay, here we are. 
and exactly in the middle we are at 1 meter 10 centimeter so the whole diameter will be 2.2 the blade itself is realistically as they said almost 105 it's 104 and a half in centimeters of course um, the trouble that I see here like first of all counterclockwise rotation that's the issue because probably I mean it will be prone to unscrewing itself from the from the blade from the from the generator shaft because well here I will still have to think look at the middle I will still have to think how to fit it in there because like there is no mounting element no 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 not nothing uh, and well that that's a trouble that's a trouble that that means that I will have to think of something to make it actually be fitable to my wind turbine but that's my problem that's my problem and as well as this will be a problem to mount to connect this one because currently like it has only like this kind of bolt preparation for, for, for preps um, and that's it but it has no place where you would actually screw it into like realistically they are giving you like they are given here this nut and this one doesn't fit to the generator shaft because well like, it has a different thread but this one has 1.5 I believe and I need 125 I have this kind of nuts no, no problem but I mean seriously that's the issue and like the thing also that also gives me headache right now is like you see how massive the bent is from the center of the of the shaft like this distance right so it's 10 centimeters actually right and and and, and that's that's really a problem because well well maybe not 10 maybe 9 but still and that's a problem because the shaft is not that long so that's that's something that also makes me think that I will have to think of something with the generator shaft, how to attach it. Anyways, I will give you the link so you can take a look. Maybe it's okay for your wind turbine, uh, for your DIY project, because, well, DIYers will know what to do. I'm not that big DIYer. That's like my own land first project with the custom-made self-made self wind turbine, and I'm trying to adopt, adopt and adjust. So, yeah, I will have to scratch my head a little bit to make it working. Anyways, thanks. Thanks for now. Um, I'm giving you the link so you can check yourself if you want you get you can get it if you don't want skip it whatever um, All will be fine. Thanks for watching. See you. See you later